Yo, what's up, Phantom Thieves? I'm back with another video for you, and today we're gonna be talking about Monster Hunter stories. Now, I know Monster Hunter Rise is the big thing right now, but I've been enjoying a lot of Monster Hunter, if you guys can't tell, you know, tell based off of what I've been posting on the channel. I've been enjoying a lot of Monster Hunter, okay? But in particular, offline, I've been going back and, you know, obviously the remaster came out for stories. And then, of course, there's stories too. So I've been enjoying those a lot lately. And what I actually want to address today is Monster Hunter Stories 3. Now, there's no official confirmation, but a lot of us are fairly certain that we're going to get a third game in the, in the series. Now, I want to talk about things I would like to see in Monster Hunter Stories 3. Rhyming accidentally. That was nice. Now, the first thing I want to address is from Monster Hunter Stories, they gave us the right of kinship. That needs to be a thing in Monster Hunter Stories 3 again. It was actually kind of baffling that they took away the right of kinship from Stories 2 when, you know, when that game came out and I get some people, some people didn't really use the right of kinship, but it was such a, a well-made feature in the original game. And not only did, could you take genes from your monsters and implement them in other monsters, which you can do in, in, in two, but it did change the color palette of the monsters. And that is, that is a really unique feature that Monster Hunter Stories 1 had. So it was kind of baffling that they took that out of the second game. So Capcom, bring back the right of channeling and do Monster Hunter Stories 3, okay? Number two, and this isn't a big one, but character customization. I think we need a little more now. The first game, it was the starter. So, you know, it, it, it laid the foundation, but I feel like number two didn't add enough. It didn't add enough. Now, I basically made the same character from Stories 1 into Stories 2, and they look oh, dang on near identical. So that, and that's because they didn't really have much else to choose from. And Monster Hunter is a game based on customization. The character customization in the main line, you know, where we hunt, it's never been the biggest thing. You know, now they're getting better with World Rise and stuff like that. But for an RPG game, especially something like this, Bring us more character customization to the next game, okay? And also, it's called Monster Hunter Stories. So make sure that the story is a big part of the game. Now, I I was a fan of the stories. Obviously, they weren't going to win Game of the Year or anything like that. But I was a fan of them. But I do think we can up the ante on, um, on the next iteration. So that's that. Number three. And this is a big one, okay? And this is actually gonna tie into another one. Underwater combat. Underwater combat and underwater exploration. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just combine these then because it'll make more sense. With the monster roster that we have, first off, that'll be number four, and we'll go, we'll dive into number three with that. Number four, the monster roster. We take every monster deviant, um, rare species, Everything we've gotten from 1 and 2 outside of the Nintendo collaboration stuff, every monster from those two games should be in 3. And then more. And I'm talking ones I personally want to see, the Megala uh, lineup. We need the Megala lineup. Gore, Shigaru, Chaotic. Those would be absolutely sick to have as rideable monsters. And then, of course, with the attacks and everything like that, come on. You guys know that would hit, okay? So that's just one of them. Now, we have Ebony, Legiacris, and Regular. We need Abyssal. Now, granted, this is where underwater combat is also going to make its, you know, its kind of debut if I was to get what I wanted. Everybody knows Abyssal, Legiacris was only fought in water. There was no land fight for Abyssal. But if we have underwater exploration and combat... Monsters like Abyssal Legiacris, Sedaeus, uh, Dire Morales. We can see monsters like that. Even, even with Sedaeus and Dire Morales, 
even if we can't necessarily see them, or um, even if we can't get them, excuse me, they should be in game. And that's another thing. We should be able to refight the final boss without having to play the whole story again. We should be able to refight the final boss. Farm some of the, you know, we should be able to farm it to get armor and weapons from it. Like it was actually sad in both games, we couldn't get a final boss armor set or weapons. That should not be a thing. So make sure, yes, we could with Fatalis, I understand that, but the storyline bosses, we could not get armors or weapons. That cannot be a thing of Monster Hunter Stories 3. We should be able to farm it. You know, do something like an Elder Lair again where we can go and refight that boss and get its parts, okay? And speaking of bosses, because those were Elder Dragons, not only should we see more Elder Dragons in the game, and a lot of them should be monsties. Namael, please give me Namael as a, as a monster. We should see them in the overworld. We should see them in the overworld. We only ever got them with eggs. Now, yes, we did see them in their lairs when we went to go fight them, but let's see them in the overworld. Let's see them flying around or whatever the case may be. But I think that would be a cool post game is, hey, once you fight and destroy the monster in the lair, then it'll be like Roman Legendaries from Pokemon or something. Once you do that, then you can start to see them in the overworld. I think that would be absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. So if you guys are with me so far, you guys think I'm cooking? Y'all y'all think I y'all think I got some good ideas? Because we're gonna go into the next one, which is at least two to three more weapons. At least two to three. The two that I personally want to see right off the jump, dual blades. And the way we could do it, dual blades would be sick, especially with the uh, with the uh, demon sense and everything. That could be an actual skill that you use. And then insect glaive. Insect glaive could kind of work as uh, as as the hunting horn. Obviously, no weapons get taken out, but add the insect glaive. It could be one of those offensive and defensive weapons where, depending on your insect, uh, your kinsec, you could take, you know, obviously it would leech on the monsters and you could get offensive or defensive buffs. So that's how you could work that in. And then I'm just being, I'm just being biased, but long sword. How do we have, how do we have sword and shield and great sword and we don't have long sword? So, you know, those are the ones. I was talking to somebody once and Charge Blade or Switch Axe would be sick in, in the stories game. So that's four, okay? Five if you want to do Charge Blade and Switch Axe. But, but add some more weapons because they've shown in the stories games that they can they can take the weapons and make them unique based off of the type of game it is. So there that is, okay? So, so far we've talked about Elder Dragons in the Overworld, being able to fight the final boss again underwater exploration and combat more monsters and you know i only like i said sedaeus all of them add more elder dragons man we want elder dragons i can't say that again add more elder dragons we need more monsters i forgot the actual number but we have a lot of monsters or excuse me monsters and monster hunter that can come over as monsters so Make sure we get a lot more of them. And let's see. Uh, actually, no. The 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 multiplayer it, it's good as is. I enjoyed the multiplayer for what it is. Um, post game content. I thought they handled it well in number two, where you know now I'm gonna since I'm playing through number one, I get to play the uh the update 1.3 that we didn't get to on the 3ds. So I'll see how that is for myself. But the post game is pretty well done. If you want to save Elder Dragons for the post game, that's fine with me. Give us a couple of them that were in the older games, maybe like Kieran and stuff like that, that we can get in the main game. But give us a beefy post game, especially if we're not going to do DLC. Because neither of the first games, the first two games had DLC. So make sure we get stuff like that, okay? And I'm trying to think. Um... Based off of everything I just said, because like I said, I really enjoy these games. So there's not there's not much else right now that I could think of 
Cause you know we have we have our hunter our, our hunter buddies that can come out with us. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Can uh, our special kinship skills and number two, our partners, if they were by themselves, like Rivero, Roberto, excuse me, he could do a special kinship uh, kinship attack by himself. We always have to do them with our monsties, and don't get me wrong, they are great. But we should have a feature where we could do our own individual as the as the writer. We should be able to do our own individual kin, uh, kinship attack. That's something that I do think we should see, especially you know, given with you know the weapon types and if they add more weapon types, it would be cool to see us doing our own attacks or if we want to mount and then do it. We should have the option of doing an individual one ourselves, or if we take the mount, then we do the mount one. So. That's really all I have right now. I'm gonna ask you guys in the comments if there's anything you wanna see in Monster Hunter Stories 3 if we get it, or even if we don't, let's just talk about, if we, let's just assume we're getting Monster Hunter Stories 3. What are things you wanna see? And with everything I gave, do you guys agree with everything? Do you guys think some things should stay the same? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about Monster Hunter Stories 3 potentially coming out and what we'd like to see from it, all right? I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.